Hey guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be starting a new series on my channel. I think this is something that's going to be very beneficial to all of us because I'm going through every single foundation that I own. Some things are new, some things are on the older side and I want to do a wear test and a review of them because I have so many foundations in my collection. I just really need to go through figure out what I'm keeping, figure out what I'm decluttering, and my skin has definitely changed drastically over the past couple months, and this is where we're at. I think if you are my skin tone or around my skin tone, you're gonna find this video very helpful. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to chat with you guys about what I'm wearing on my face today, well, on my eyes today. So for the eye look in the center, I'm actually wearing the CoverGirl Midsummer Night Mayhem. These little quads have been some of my favorites, and and I think it's fun for just a little pop of color in the middle. For concealer, I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. This concealer, I'm still back and forth with it because I find with this concealer, you have to use a lot. And that's really weird because you have to apply it kind of like how a beauty guru would apply it, which is like a ton of concealer. And then when you blend it out, it looks nice. But I found when I try to use like my everyday typical amount of concealer using this product, like if I just was to do two dots, it does not look good. It gets crepey and crusty and it's really weird. And I really love this collection. So I wanted to really like this concealer. And obviously I'm wearing it today. It doesn't look bad, but it's just, it has a learning curve. It's really weird. And I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm using it because I want to finish it. Weird vibes, not sure how I feel about this. For my mascara, I'm wearing the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. This is a great, great mascara. And I have a ton of mascaras open in my collection. I think I mentioned that before, but going through, trying to go through all my mascaras, this is definitely a really, really good one. It does a really good job at lengthening and my lashes are naturally straight. So the fact that they're very curled and volume, volumized, <laughs> and volume, yeah, and volumized means that this is a good mascara. So this is new to my collection. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in the shade Cusco. This is medium 1.5. I'm gonna be trying this one out today. I've been wearing it here and there, but I haven't done a wear test with it. This is from NARS. It's a tinted moisturizer, so it's not supposed to be super full coverage. If you guys can't tell, growing out my baby hairs, okay? Step one to loving ourselves this year. But ever since I was younger, I would just, I would just shave off my baby hairs because I felt like my head looked weird because it wasn't, this is so random, but because my head was not completely round, it's very like messy. But I'm letting it grow out. I'm gonna learn to tame them and to style them. I'm gonna do one side of my face with a sponge and the other side with a brush. So I think I'm gonna do left side with a brush and the right side with a sponge. LaRousse brush, this is the flat powder brush, the RL375 brush. What I like about this, it is very compact and it's compact, but it's not um, super stiff. Also, this is my Sephora Total Coverage Sponge and love this. Cheaper than a beauty blender, does a really good job. I have to wet it. So, some things I want to point out about my skin is that, you know, mask me full, in full effect. But also, I do have discoloration, I have uneven skin tone, and I don't know. We'll see how this product does over time. I will definitely update you in terms of if I see the benefits of it evening my skin tone. Plastic packaging it's like a squeezy tube you open it like this and the product comes out like that okay we're gonna start with this much because it doesn't pump out i don't know how much product this is like if it would be equivalent to one pump but it's probably a lot less okay so the nars pure radiant tinted moisturizer spf 30 retails for 45 dollars usd it is supposed to be light coverage it is a cream formula it is meant to be hydrating and have a radiant finish it also has spf and it seems to be a lot of people's favorites some of the highlighted ingredients are vitamin c which is supposed to help even out skin tone for a brighter looking complexion so that was a super duper light layer you can see that it's kind of evened out my skin tone 
definitely provided a little bit more radiance. So we're gonna go in and build. I'm gonna specifically try to build in areas that I need the coverage. It is also free of parabens, formaldehydes, phthalates, SLS, and SLES. It is also vegan and gluten-free. This is available in 16 shades for all skin types and skin tones. It is oil-free and it is supposed to be packed with skincare ingredients. So apparently they did a clinical study and out of 31 participants, 90% saw a healthy glow, 87% saw a more even toned complexion, and 84% felt dark spots became less visible on bare skin. Okay, so color-wise, I can definitely start to see that this is slightly leaning a little bit more pink tone than I normally would go because my skin is a little bit more warm. As you can see, like in this area, my skin is kind of warm. And this one is evening it out in terms of, I think it's matching my forehead really well because the undertones on my forehead are more of like a red tone, if that makes sense, kind of like when you get a tan. So overall, I think it looks really good. It is definitely light coverage because it didn't really do a good job necessarily covering up the acne that I have around this area and on my nose. However, I don't mind it because this would be something that I would be reaching for every day. And on a daily basis, I'm just looking for something with SPF, something that's going to make me look slightly more presentable. So I'm not mad at the coverage. I think it looks really good. Love the radiance. 10 out of 10 for that. So you can see how kind of dull my skin looks. And then this just makes you look a little bit more healthy. I'm gonna start first off with the dotting that I did last time. Alright, so that's my itty bitty first layer. I think I did a good job just like evening out skin tone, but like I did last time, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. I'm gonna take whatever's left and just kind of drag it down here. Because this is a lightweight product, I think however you apply it, just go for it but I think I like I think I like the sponge applicator a little bit more but that is pretty much what my face is looking like really like this I love how it just looks very glowy and hydrated and it did even out my skin tone it definitely covered up some acne i had check-in time is 11 24. okay so i'm gonna set areas that i normally would i'm gonna be using the huda beauty powder today in the shade blondie because i have so much powders and i think i only show you guys like one powder <laughs> it looks like i have one powder in my collection when i really have like a hundred definitely gotta set this area my brow area and whatever is left on this, I'm just gonna kind of press under here. But I'm not gonna press this area because I like when that area is luminous. So I'm gonna put on my lipstick, come back, give you my wrap up thoughts. I'm wearing the shade Dreamboat from the Buxom collection, the full 90s, full force 90s collection. These are so good, they smell amazing they smell just like buxom lip glosses this is just what i got from the first couple minutes of wearing this i really like it i think it's buildable um but it is definitely a light to like light medium coverage so don't be expecting this to be super full coverage if you have acne scarring don't expect it to you know do a really good job concealing that i do think that if you use this and then you could just paired it with a really good concealer to spot conceal you would actually really like this. I find it to be very, very lightweight. I can't feel it on the skin. Love that it has SPF. This is what everything is looking like. It looks really, really good in natural lighting. I don't know whose baby that is, but um. 
yeah it looks very natural anyways i wanted to wrap up the video here it is currently 6 46 so i will have the amount of hours i've been wearing the tinted moisturizer on the screen i've been eating i've been editing i ran errands i did so much today and my face still looks pretty good it still has that natural radiance that i like but it's not oily it's not overly oily i'm starting to get shiny in my t-zone but honestly this is probably the amount of hours i would wear my foundation or anything on my face for anyways so i'm not mad at it the only issue that i do have is that this is definitely not my color it is a little bit too orange it pulls orange on me which is unfortunate but that's kind of just a mistake on my end i'm definitely still going to use this shade i think if i mix it in with a if i mixed it in with my laura mercier tinted moisturizer i think it would look really really good because that one is more so yellow and it is also a tinted moisturizer so i think i'm gonna mix them together just so i can get the bright shade for me very easy to work with and it looks really good on the skin if i honestly just left my face like this because i have not touched up at all it really doesn't look bad it just looks like a little bit shiny in certain areas but um, nothing too bad. I think it is kind of on the pricier side, but it is something that I feel like if you are someone that uses more so a lightweight foundation or you just need something to wear on a daily basis, I definitely would go for this because the ingredients are good and it just feels like you're wearing nothing and I think it does a good job evening out my complexion. So if you're looking for something along those lines, I would recommend it there are better tinted moisturizers that provide more coverage on the market that's not this one but i do still like this one so i'm gonna rate this one a four out of five it's honestly only a four out of five because i feel like the color is off and i wish it had a little bit more coverage for my liking but i do like it overall i think that's a pretty good rating so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i am trying to reach my goal of 500 subscribers before the summer so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week